in this video I'm going to finish off our mouse selected script and complete it so it's the same state as the one we're using now so let's dive into our code and the first thing we need to do is finish off uh, what happens when we hit the terrain so all we need to do here is say well mouse button down up so if the user is actually releasing the mouse button when they hit the terrain and if they're clicking if they did in fact click so did user click the left mouse we can deselect the object if it's selected so um, deselect okay if we're clicking up in the terrain and uh, if we did in fact click and not drag we can deselect the game object okay guys and we can use this method in one more place so um, if we hit nothing we can say so we can say yeah the raycast actually hit something but if it's hitting nothing at all if the raycast is hitting nothing and we actually click up in inside of this um, get mouse up again Okay, so if we're actually releasing the mouse and clicking upwards again, did use a click left mouse, and uh, we actually need to store the hit point in here, so mouse down point, let's use that one. Okay, again, we can deselect it. So what we just did was, let's just play the game so to make things a bit simpler to understand. So if we released our left mouse button inside of the terrain and we clicked, then we're going to deselect the objects. And if our raycast hit nothing, so if we're out here somewhere and didn't hit any object at all and clicked the mouse button up, again, if something's selected, we want to deselect it again. Okay, guys, so that's how that one worked. So end of the terrain, that's really good. We don't have to deal with the terrain anymore. Okay, but else, if we hit something else, so we're now hitting other objects. Alright, first thing we need to check if the mouse button is coming up. Get, uh, again, I think this is the last time we just do this. <laughs> and and if we are clicking again, again, did use a click the left mouse, mouse button down, mouse down point. And I've used one more brace than I should have there. Alright, so let's tidy things up a little bit here. Okay, so we need to check if the user is actually hitting a unit. So is the user hitting a unit? Or is the user hitting something we can't select, like, I don't know, a piece of decorative uh, meshes or something that, you know, we just place in the game for decorative purposes. And to check if we've hit the unit, if it's a thing we can select, we refer to the selected child object. So every single unit we can select in the game has a selected child object. So we need to refer to that somehow. And to do that, we can say if the hit collider, quite a long one this one guys, so transform and the transform hosts a function called find child so we're finding the child object of selected okay so if we've actually found this selected object and uh, the mouse is actually, the user is actually in fact, in fact clicking here that is really good, we found an object, so yes we found an object we found a unit we can select alright that's all good the first thing we want to do is debug this out so we actually know we found a unit. That's really good, okay. And the next thing we need to do is to tell the, the player that we've actually selected it. So we need to activate the selected unit itself. So let's reference it out first. Selected object. Okay, so again we're going to use that long line of code. Collider, transform, find child, selected game object okay and then we can say selected object active equals true so we could have put that in one line but I wanted to reference the game object there okay so activate the selector and if we are actually selecting a new game object so if we clicked on the same one we've already got currently selected we don't want to do anything because it's already selected basically so um, we can say are we selecting the a different object and we can say if currently selected object or selected unit is not equal to hit collider game object and I should have put that in here actually guys so if it's a new object we're selecting activate the selector 
okay and all we need to do is deactivate the currently selected objects selector so we can say if currently selected of unit sorry doesn't equal null so if there is actually one selected we can say currently selected unit um, transform find child selected okay active okay dot game object sorry I missed one out it's quite a long one in it so game object dot active equals false okay so that makes a bit more sense okay so we've activated the current unit selector we've deactivated the other one and now we can just um, replace currently selected unit okay so to do that currently selected unit equals hit collider game object and I think that's all we need to do guys with the um, with the mouse clicks obviously we need to do more for the drags but let me just double check so if it's selected I think we need to do one more thing what if the unit what if the thing we selected is not a, uh, a unit what if it's something else we can't select so alright so if if this object is not unit okay so we just if it's if we've released the mouse button on something that's not a unit we need to deselect the currently selected object okay and that's all we need to do so I hope you understood that guys so if we release the mouse button on on another object which is not a unit it's the same as deselecting the current object because nothing happens okay okay so I think that's everything and I hope you understood that guys so I might upload this on the unity chat but I might wait till we've done the drag first and is there anything else we want to do I think I'll make this static the um, mouse down point in case we want to reference that in something else and um, yeah I think that's everything so let's go to the world script let's replace the mouse point updated with just mouse and hopefully it will work so selecting deselecting okay that's really awesome it's all working out really well so <laughs> I didn't just do that video for nothing it all works so and our thing we found a unit that's really good okay so with that out of the way we can now do two more things we can hold shift and then select multiple units if we wanted to and we can also drag out multiple units as well so we'll do that in the next couple of videos thanks for watching guys hopefully see you in the next video thanks